Hi guys, John Judd here. Today we're going to be talking about playlist shortcuts and a really important tip. I know there are a lot of videos on this subject, so I'll try to make mine as concise as possible. I'm going to start today with probably what I think is the most important tip about playlist shortcuts. And here it is. This button right here. Typing keyboard to piano keyboard. If this button is lit, that means you can use your typing keyboard that you're typing with to play synths or trigger audio samples. If it is not lit, it will not be doing that. So often in my process, I actually like to have that lit. That particular button is going to change the way those shortcuts work or don't work in the playlist. What happens if it's lit? Your shortcuts won't work the way they normally work. A lot of times if this is lit, you're going to have to use shift in addition to whatever modifier key. If this is lit, this says right here, the cut tool, you'd need a C for the cut tool to work. Right now this is lit. And if I hit C, <laughs> it actually triggered the audio clip, obviously. So if this is not lit, C, and now my tool is the cut tool. The second kind of important tip, if this isn't obvious, the playlist needs to be in focus. Like you need to tap it, just make sure it's in focus. Even though you're looking at it, doesn't mean that it's in focus. Like watch this, I'm gonna go tap the mixer. It's out of focus right now. I tapped it and now it's in focus. So I'm gonna give you two versions of this video. This is the version where you have the typing keyboard to piano keyboard button not lit. When I'm editing this video, I'll put in a marker right now telling you where to go if you prefer the shortcuts that have the button lit. The pencil tool, you're just going to hit a P. That's for writing and placing audio clips. The brush, that's going to be a B. You know, it depends on what snap you have engaged. You can literally just brush things on. Delete, that'll be a D. That'll mean that you can just delete clips if you need to. By the way, I just hit Control Z to reverse that. Mute. That would be a T, and that will either mute or unmute things. The slip tool, S. So now the slip tool is an interesting one. Probably the tool that I use the least, but I can see its value. So the slip tool moves the audio inside of the clip. And right now it's moving it via the snap. But if we disable the snap, we can move it in the slightest increments. That's pretty valuable if you want the clips to line up with the playlist, but you're having trouble with getting it to groove or something, you can just move it over. Pretty neat tool. That's probably the one I use the least and should use it more. Cut C. And I'm left clicking right now. There's your cut. So Z for zoom. Watch this, here's kind of a neat thing. You're gonna left click, target it, and bam, that thing is huge. You can even target a little section. Once you've zoomed on it, hit the left click once. That brings you back to a normal zoom. Zoomed in, left click, right back to normal. Preview audio, we're gonna hit Y. So now that gives us our little speaker icon. Now what this is gonna do when you hover it over particular audio, it's going to play the audio from exactly where you are, and it's also going to do it in solo. So watch as I hit this, the other two tracks are going to go muted. That one's pretty phenomenal. Really good shortcut. Okay, these little icons right here. This one right here is for audio clips. This one is for automation clips. This one is for patterns. If you want to move that without going and clicking it, you're gonna hit M. Now here's just a little cool side note. Sometimes in the playlist, you have to stretch things. Oftentimes you'll go up and hit this little stretch button and then you can stretch things properly in the playlist. Cause otherwise, if you drag, just drag an audio clip, it won't be stretched. It's just dragging the clip container or whatever we call that. But if you hit stretch, it's actually stretching the audio. So watch this, shift M will select or deselect your stretch. Here is the second version of the shortcuts. 
with our typing keyboard to piano keyboard enabled. The pencil tool, shift P. Brush tool, shift B. The delete tool, shift D. Mute, you'd think, oh, it must be shift T. It isn't. This is an interesting one. Shift T, if I remember, does something weird. Yeah, it's actually enabling the highlighting of every four bars or disabling it. This is the one, the mute tool doesn't work as expected. Mute is pretty obvious though. You're gonna hit your right alt and then left click. Right alt, left click. I use that perpetually. That is one of the most valuable things. The behavior of the mute tool is significantly different depending on whether you have the typing keyboard to piano keyboard enabled or disabled. The slip, shift S. By the way, the pencil tool doesn't appear to have changed, but if you looked up in the left-hand corner, I'll go back to the pencil tool. It's on the pencil. I just hit shift P, now shift S. The pencil tool hasn't visually changed, but the icon has changed. So when you go over the audio, you can actually shift things around even though it doesn't look like it changed. Now here's an interesting one. Your cut, you're gonna hit left alt C to trigger that. Uh, that is a pretty interesting one because it wasn't the shift modifier. Left alt C. I probably have covered this in one of my other videos somewhere. I use this for cutting all the time. You're gonna right alt, right shift, and left click. And there's a cut. I use it all the time. Once again, Right Alt, Right Shift, Left Click. It makes it so you can uh, really get in and down and dirty with the audio. It's pretty tight the way they organize this. Shift E, your select tool. Select one or multiple clips. I don't think I previously covered the functionality of that one, so there it is. Zoom, Shift Z. Works beautifully. Once again, you highlight the area you want to zoom into, left click to return. Preview audio, shift Y. Okay guys, I think I covered all of the basics. Just make sure to pay attention as to whether you have that typing keyboard or piano keyboard button disabled or enabled. And that's gonna change what keyboard combination is required for a shortcut to work. So thanks for watching. I hope you're having a good day and I'll catch you soon.